Hey guys, it's Ben here, and with the Premier League just a month and a half away, the top six still have a lot of money to spend, and it seems that some of them might even be dealing with each other before this window's out. So Nemanja Matic looks as though he's going to move from Chelsea to Manchester United to reunite with Jose Mourinho. And today Liverpool were handed a boost in their pursuit of Arsenal midfielder Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain. Now this is a rumour that's been going around all summer, there have been conflicting reports from various sources. But Mr Reliable James Pearce has said in the Echo today that Oxlade-Chamberlain is unlikely to sign a new deal at the Emirates. They offered him slightly better terms than what he's already on, they offered him 80 grand a week. And James Pearce says he's not interested in signing that deal. Now this is not a priority for Jurgen Klopp. But if he thinks he can get him for a good price, then he may well go for it. Reports suggest it would take a bit of 25 million in order for the Gunners to part ways with the England International. Most Liverpool fans aren't so positive on this move. It doesn't seem to be very highly rated by Liverpool fans. But a lot of Arsenal fans that I know don't want to lose him at all, especially to a rival. So would this be a good bit of business for the Reds? Or should they leave him alone and just focus on Naby Keita and Virgil van Dijk? And those are two sagas which still have a long way to go. For me, Oxo Chamberlain would be a great person to have in the squad. But I'm not sure if he'd get his wish of starting regularly for Liverpool. Midfield places aren't going to be easy to come by next season, especially if Naby Keita joins. So I'd suggest, as much as I like him, that his future does not lie at Anfield. So there is a potential outgoing for Arsenal, but one possible incoming is Alexandre Lacazette of Lyon. Now the mirrors say that offers will be heard for the French international. He wanted to go to Atletico Madrid, but he can't go there because of their transfer ban. And Arsenal, who are going to need a new striker this season, could be there to pounce. The man they really want is Kylian Mbappe, but that one might not be realistic, so Lacazette could prove to be a good alternative for them. Lyon president John Mikel Aulas says that he wants to to leave, but there have been no concrete offers. Bertram Traore from Chelsea has joined Lyon, so it looks like they have freed up that space for Lacazette to leave. Sticking with players in Ligue 1 that could be on the move, Lucas Moura is available for £26 million according to Le Parisien. Now the PSG winger has been a target for Manchester United in the past, and if Inter Milan don't want to budge on the valuation of Ivan Perisic, then this could be a good option for them. I mentioned Lucas Moura last week, and Le Parisien are still claiming that Liverpool would throw their hat into the ring to sign him, but with Mohamed Salah through the lower Anfield, maybe it makes more sense for United to be his suitor. Now another winger that Manchester United won, Ousmane Dembele, has apparently held talks with Man City manager Pep Guardiola. The 10 Sport in France are claiming that they met for dinner last night and the Borussia Dortmund man has been shown the outline of what Pep's plans are at Man City and he may well have been offered the chance to be part of that. He is one of the rising stars in European football right now, he's a France international, he scored 10 goals last season and registered 21 assists. His valuation is said to be just shy of £80 million, so it will take a monster bid but we know that's what Manchester City and Manchester United are capable of. Chelsea Chelsea are also said to be interested. Speaking of Chelsea, the Daily Star are claiming that they want the severe forward Vitolo. Now the Blues already look set to sign Alexandro from Juventus and Timu Bakayoko from Monaco, but they're also looking to strengthen an attack. And just like Arsenal with Lacazette, they could be the beneficiary of Atletico Madrid's transfer ban. They were keen on him, but it looks like Chelsea could have a free run at the 27-year-old. So it promises to be a busy few weeks for the Premier League's top six clubs and the rest of the clubs in the top division in England. Leave a comment with who you think will spend the most money on one player this summer. Will it be Liverpool with Virgil van Dijk or Naby Keita? Could somebody buy Usman Dembele for 79 million? Could Arsenal sign Kylian Mbappe for 100 million? Could Liverpool sign Mbappe? So much still to be sorted out before the end of August. We could be set for a record summer in terms of money spent by Premier League sides and we'll be talking about all of that sort of stuff on this channel. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please do subscribe and follow my other socials. It's Ben Might Say on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat and Facebook and I'll see you next time.